pass complete to Jack Doyle. A gain of 21. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. He gets it forward for four, maybe five, but the flags fly. And this one could be coming back. So some holding over on the left side of that O-line. And I know for the guys trying to move those big defensive people, they'd love for them to stay in one spot. But they move around so quick and so fast that sometimes you just have to grab them. Now a hit, and Rivers lost the football. One, two, and three in their defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there. Luckily, offense hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense and miss opportunities. And I'm not saying it happened here, but you know what a good rule of thumb is when a play like that occurs? You know who usually recovers it? The guy who missed his block and let his quarterback get hit. Seven yard line. A gain of seven yards. And it's third down. Third and long for Rivers. And that will be incomplete. That was well played, but that was also an example of a corner who understands his coverage, realized he had support behind him, and could be a little more aggressive in the shorter zone, and did exactly that, knocking that pass away. Jones on the return. Hold a 54 yard punt, 13 on the return. And the Raiders will take over now, first and 10. On the ground, this is Jalen Richard. They'll get about three as he's taken down at the 23. Richard, the ball carrier. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving him a three-yard gain. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. Alluding the pressure right. He's going to take off with it. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. For Charles in the past, a lot of people called this offense one-dimensional. I think you did. Well, it was you. I'll be honest, I did. <laughs> I think the fan base is hoping with this young rookie that they can put some wrinkles in this offense like we just saw. I think you're exactly right, because we did have that discussion that what we've seen in the past from them, they needed to broaden, and they have done it here. Look at what he's bringing to their offense, and now as a defensive coordinator, You've got some extra work to do to prepare for him and their offense. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 34. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Reception here by Ruggs. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Good work after the catch, gets him 15 and a first down. So, Charles, here we are in the playoffs, and this rookie quarterback, likely a front-runner for Offensive Rookie of the Year, but he's not too concerned about that. He was all business with us, saying, I just want to advance to the playoffs. And what's really nice for him is that it's a home game, which means routine doesn't really get jarred, does it? He can do the same thing he's been doing throughout the regular season, what worked for him, how he gets ready and prepared. It's an easier path for him, although playing the game, will not be because the playoffs, the pressure cooker is big. He certainly did play well in the regular season, division title under his belt as a rookie. And you're right, look, it's nice to have the home fans cheering for you as opposed to having to go on the road and getting those boos. Safety Malik Hooker there in coverage. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs. Able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. Every possession in the postseason magnified, and look, it's just the opening drive. They didn't get the touchdown they wanted, but at least they got on the board. They got on the board. They've got their home crowd into it as well. And remember, in the playoffs, the game slows down.